Good morning. It is Thursday, March 31, 2016. Here are the headlines. Long-awaited material for the National Kidney Dialysis Center arrived. Annual four-day walking tour started yesterday. Ministry of Trade and Industry launched a complaint app for consumers. Dutch MP reported to police by a Dutch woman in Suriname for sexual assault. I'm Dakota Simpson Marshall. This is the local news for today. The 40-foot container with the materials for the National Kidney Dialysis Center, NNC, which was on the port, was released yesterday. In the container were, among other things, needles, filters for the dialysis water, bloodlines, and dialyzers. Glenn Aitalu, director of the NNC, said that the cure is now guaranteed. Aitalu acknowledged that there was a shortage of the products, but they have looked for alternatives. Otherwise, the NNC would have been closed. He hopes that calm among the patients will return. He also indicates that the shortage of the materials was caused by a backlog in the payment to the Belgian supplier. This has now been cleared. He says that materials were borrowed from other agencies and he cannot give the guarantee that this will not happen again. Chairman of the Board of Patients, Ruben Rosendahl, would like to see that the NNC leaves this system because it causes anxiety amongst the patients. He's happy that the container is released. Eichelou further notes that the NNC has no warehouse to build its own stock of materials. Since yesterday, the streets were brightly colored again. For four days, young and old are walking through the streets of Parmarbo, dressed in beautiful and colorful outfits. The BVSS Fernandez four-day walking tour, AVD 2016, started yesterday. The AVD is a well-known sporting event in Suriname, which enjoys great interest from both Surinamese and foreigners. It is not just a walking event, but also a cultural one. It is a show of outfits and business promotion. Spectators line the streets to encourage the runners or to enjoy the show that accompanies this march. The participants will receive a medal from BVSS for their performance. The leadership of the Ministry of Trade and Industry launched an application yesterday for the public to file complaints and get information. The application called COSA app should ensure that the handling of the complaints of the consumers is facilitated by the ministry. Consumers can, el can electronically file their complaints via the COSA app with a photo or receipt to the Consumer Affairs Division of the Ministry of Trade and Industry. Also, a supply of information to businesses and consumers through the application is possible. Consumers receive instant notification when a complaint is successfully received. Complaints end up in a database and are registered through a ticket system. The complainant will receive an email with a registration number as confirmation. The COSA app also facilitates the possibility for both the entrepreneurs and the consumers to share information about dangerous goods or counterfeit goods placed on the market. The application is launched by the Minister of Trade and Industry, Sickling Burleson. Dutch MP Harry Van Bommel has been reported to the police in Suriname for alleged sexual assault. On March 2, 2016, a Dutch woman named Joanna, who lived in Suriname, accused the Dutch MP of sexual assault. She says this happened during his private visit to, the, to Suriname in February. Van Bommel was here to talk about his newly released book, Surinamers in the Polder. The indictment was made public via the online Dutch newspaper, The Telegraph. Two Dutch journalists talked about the issue in the program Telegraph TV. It is not the first time that Harry Van Bommel is accused of sexual assault in the Dutch press. He came in disrepute for a similar offense in 2007. He has apologized for it in public. 
The claim against the Dutch MP is processed by the Department of Capital Offenses of the police force. In spite of the fact that there are no authentic documents handed over to a third party, the Telegraph published the claim that was registered in Suriname. Inspector Doris of Capital Offenses did not disclose information about the case. According to the procedure, the case will be forwarded for further examination to the Dutch police because the offender has been identified. That brings us to the end of the local news for today. Join us again tomorrow, same time, same station for more. Have a wonderful day.